excited tonight to have here in the studio a great musician. He is a guitar player, a vocalist, and also an entrepreneur, our great friend, Jeff Pitchell. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Marisol. It's been a long time. Yes, a couple, couple years. A couple of years. I think we both survived COVID uh, yes. lockdown. So yes. Thank well, God. last time you were here on our show, it was 2019. Okay. And we got wow. a chance to speak about your journey, yeah. about your music career, about everything that has been going on since the day you said yes to that guitar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I kind of remember. That's like a few years back now. Yes. It's hard to believe it. Yes. So, much time's gone. so tell us all about it, how it has been. I know COVID came through yeah. and there were many changes, but I know you've been doing wonderful things. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, uh, I try to stay busy during COVID-19, make videos, record and write more songs. Uh, it was up and down, but, um, you know, our mutual friend, Michael O'Toole, he helped me making videos. And, yes. and yes. Uh, you know, you could either take that time, downtime to rebuild and, and, and push forward or, or get depressed and not, not make music. But uh, sure. I, I try to, you know, use that time to, to practice and to perfect what I do mm -hmm. and, and uh, put out videos and content. Mm -hmm. and, and now we have a new album out and it's doing well. Yes, so, yeah. I want to hear all about it. I know that you've yeah. been collaborating with a couple of friends. Yes. Uh, they're all musicians, yes. actually great musicians. And I want to hear about it because there is great names. Yeah. Great names there. So I had a bunch of songs that I recorded with people that I was touring with on and mm -hmm. off. And then a team of folks uh, chose the songs that they wanted to be on this CD. Okay. And then, so they cherry picked their favorite songs. They mm -hmm. made the order and I didn't dispute it. I, I agreed with what they thought to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. As you know from singing, it's hard to choose what's the best because you're in the book. You're not objective. So they chose these songs and then uh, we put it out on Deguelo Records and Vic Stebbins. Uh, he put a team together with Betsy Brown at uh, Blind Raccoon. And, uh, okay. and then they put out this record playing with my mm -hmm. friends and it came out in February. And uh, it's been going really great. It has uh, Dwayne Betts from the Allman Brothers' uh -huh. son, Dickie's son, uh, Tyrone Vaughn, Steve Ray Vaughn's okay. nephew, and uh, Jay Giles is on mm -hmm. it, and uh, Charles Neville and Christine Allman. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, all these songs I wrote, and, and, and these guys, I've had a couple, help, couple mm -hmm. help on the songs from some friends, but mostly my stuff. And yeah, it's going well. We're excited. Nice, nice. And from all the collaborations that you did, uh, which will be the one that is more memorable to you? Uh, most important. And maybe I'm putting you on a spot. No, I don't okay. mean to. No, it's all but right. I, 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 I want to hear the, from you yeah. what were the ones that you know you feel more engaged and. I think they're all memorable because okay. it, playing with my friends, we had a strong connection with these folks before we recorded. And then when we recorded, it only made the connection stronger. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely stories in all of them that make them memorable and significant. But, you know, off the top mm -hmm. of my head, I would just say that uh, it's hard to choose one that was like this <laughs> experience. I mean, certainly Jay Giles, he produced my song, okay. uh, Prisoner of Love. I had put the song out on another album that had a, just a straight feel like... Okay that type of feel and uh -huh. then he wanted like more upbeat like you know like upbeat tempo you know I'm a prisoner of love everybody he changed it to that from uh -huh. I'm a prisoner of love so he okay. put horns and he played slide on it and he produced it okay. and he engineered that song but so just having Jay Giles you know to work with him as we had a another album out together called American Girl Okay. on BizTone Records, mm -hmm. and then we made this album, and then unfortunately he passed away, oh. And uh, but he was a big star, a very, very humble, introvert guy. Uh, okay. You know, so working with him is very memorable because he just had a way about him that <laughs> nobody else did. He was, he was a character. Yeah. And who else collaborated in the album? Okay, so a lot of people. I mean, that's this... Okay. 
uh, you got a lot of different rhythm sections. There's four different rhythm sections. Mm -hmm. Just guys I worked with over the years, all good friends of mine. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Claudette King sings mm -hmm. her dad's hit, playing with my friends, which uh, what we decided to call it that because mm -hmm. we're all playing together mm -hmm. on this. And then Tyrone Vaughn, Steve Ray Vaughn's nephew, I had a song called Out in the Cold. It was like, oh. it was like, don't leave me out in the cold. And then he came on and we cut it again and moved it to D and, and then made it much like a more slower, like, don't leave me out in the cold. Don't leave me all alone. So we changed that feel to like a like okay. a much more uh, smoky type of uh, sensual yes. sound. Yes. And so that that worked because the song got on the charts. So, okay. So, uh, yeah, that song and then uh, Dickie Betts, I wrote the song called All Night Long. Mm -hmm. uh, it was It's just a fun kind of rocker that's like... It's like, a, yeah, we was working at a joint. Uh, we were working at a juke joint, hanging down. We were working at a juke joint, laying down a heavy groove. Right, so that rocking kind of <laughs> Chuck Berry thing. And then yeah. he, he, he and I just uh, played solos at each other, okay. kind of call and answer type okay. thing. And is that rehearsed or it, it comes spontaneous at the very moment that you're recording or do you we, 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 we just decided okay. right then, why, right don't, we, why then? don't we just, but which is a common thing in, in the, the bands I play okay. with is yes. we yeah. go at a sax player and then uh -huh. I say something to him then he says something to me. And, yeah, it's and, a conversation. Yes. Yeah, it builds and, and on so, a conversation. Right, so that's what yeah. we... That's, decided, that's the yeah, art. Yeah, that's what we did on that particular song, <laughs> yeah. and it worked. And uh -huh. it's a straightforward rocker, and it has uh, horns and backup singers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, so. Yeah, and, and what, how was it uh, working with Jay Giles? Uh, well, just, uh, he was a character. I mm -hmm. mean, he smoked these Pall Mall no, non-filters, and when we were on the road together, the fire marshal and the owners of these theaters would come in and uh. yell at me. <laughs> and he's smoking a cigarette, and they go, put that out right now. And I go, I'm not smoking a cigarette. But they weren't going to tell him not to put okay. it out. Because uh. if, if, if he decided to leave, okay. it's over. <laughs> so yeah. that's a memory I have of him where he just, you know, yeah. he was Jay Giles. He didn't care. And then mm. there were some instances where some women would come backstage and just say, are you Jay Giles? Are you Jay Giles? And then he'd say, I'm Jay Giles. And they'd, like, take off their clothes or... Uh, <laughs> Or uh, invite him to their hot tub, and he'd say, oh, oh, my oh. girlfriend wouldn't like that too much. Or um, that's, but I mean, the first time I met him, I I I, I played. Uh, it was a uh, one last kiss that Peter Wolf wrote for Faye Dunaway, okay. and I just played that riff mm -hmm. to him to to let him know that I knew mm -hmm. some of his greatest mm -hmm. work, and he was so modest. He said to me. You know, uh, I didn't come up with that. Seth Justman, he told me what to play, mm -hmm. and, and he sang to me what to play. So mm -hmm. I was like, well, boy, he's not taking the credit for that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, well, that was my way of, like, you know, getting him to know that I respected him as a musician, and then we became very close okay. friends. And we toured together for a few years. Okay. And that's what, what made it evolve to record together. So you have great relationships with everyone that recorded on your album. Yes, like you, yes. You, your friends. Yeah, absolutely you know. friends, yeah. Nice. That, that's important to me. Nice. Yeah. And I know, you know, like I, I hear things and, you know, I was told that you're working with a new publicist. Yes. You mean Betsy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, yes, yeah, she has been doing our publicity and promotion, mm -hmm. uh, Blind Raccoon, and mm -hmm. uh, she's doing a great job. And uh, uh, Vic, Vic uh, Stevens is the one that, that hooked us up mm -hmm. and... Uh, that's that's a lot of the reason why the, you know we have the content, but you okay. have to have somebody who knows how to get the content in front of people. Okay, so is it the first time that you work uh, with a publicist, or oh, you I've had other, with, yeah, I've had, other, had others in the yeah, past? Yeah, and, and, and you know, the, a lot of times you sign a record deal, mm -hmm. and they either put their heart and soul into getting the music out mm -hmm. there, or somebody else comes along on that label that they sign that they're going to put more energy and time into. And mm -hmm. so there's got to be a lot of things that kind of mm. grab. Yes, to yes. For and there to has to be a good chemistry, I would believe, yeah, you know, yeah. between, 
Yeah. Absolutely, and I think it's because the album has so many different kinds of songs mm -hmm. that it's having the success it is. It's, it's, mm -hmm. Every song is, is kind of, it's all blues-based music, mm -hmm. but it certainly is a lot of different genres mm -hmm. of blues. Okay, and talking about success, yeah. uh, I know a uh, few of your songs have been number one on the charts, haven't it? Yes. Um, at the Roots Music Report. Yeah. That's amazing. Was, thank you. <laughs> How do you in, feel about that? I'm in shock. Just yes? like, uh, you know, I Because am. you're within big names up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, you know, a lot of people, it's hard to really grasp what it uh -huh. means, but I'm very grateful for everybody who helped me get to this point in mm -hmm. my life because I like you. I've been at this for a long time, so it's very gratifying that yeah. that the music's getting acknowledged. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all we ask. You yeah. know? We're, we have to we have to have some purpose. Yeah. I mean, I would still do it even if it didn't get acknowledged. <laughs> but it's it's nice. That well, it you have out. the option to be a teacher. Yes, and I did. I taught school. But you chose music. I which did. Is, I did. You yeah. know, yeah. and and I'm not surprised. You know, you're very talented. Thank like you. when we spoke the last time, and I've seen you play so many times. You know, oh, thank you, you you have that passion. And you know, COVID didn't do anything to you oh. because you still have that passion, that connection. You know, when I, hope, when I, I hear you play, when I hear you play, it's you know really, really, you. you know, it, it's touching. Thank and, you. You know, you're, you're I, I special. hope we're both better for, from yeah. the COVID experience <laughs> because. I think has changed things a lot too. So. Well, it has definitely, yeah. definitely so. But there's good things that have come out of it. Absolutely. You know. Yeah, we have to yeah. focus on the good. Yeah. It's, it's that's the trick is to uh, keep the glass half full yes. no matter what, and that, yes. that's what musicians do. They're eternal optimists. Mm -hmm. That's why you know we, when you go through so much putting out records and stuff, and. Uh, Somebody told me, don't have any expectations of records or you'll be disappointed. Mm. Well, I, you know, I kept that kind of going into <laughs> this. And now it's opened a lot of doors, this album. <laughs> yes. And I'm writing more and yes. I'm excited about the new stuff I'm writing. Yes. So you never know when you'll be rejuvenated. And uh, That's true. And yeah. I was going to ask you, when COVID hit, yeah. uh, did that ignite it in you, writing more? Or did you have a period of how they say writers block like yeah I, I think how there was, was just it a, so you? many emotional uh too many emotions to really mm -hmm. even pinpoint what happened to us mm -hmm. i think we're just all of us are just starting to realize while it's happening to you 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 don't realize what's happening to you just like any trauma mm -hmm. but we probably were traumatized in some way because i just tried to practice mm -hmm. i said to myself i gotta work out mm -hmm. i gotta lose weight and i gotta practice my mm -hmm. music and practice singing and then you know, doing it's another yes. you could say to do it. <laughs> yes, but yes. You, you try to do it, and then, you know, but, but you know, I think that it helped in some ways. Nice, yeah. nice. And what, what are your future plans? What do you have in mind? Okay, so this album, I'm going to be touring. We have some shows coming mm -hmm. up with uh, Tyrone Vaughn and Claudette King okay. who are on this album, and we've been touring, supporting the album, doing mm -hmm. some theaters. Mm -hmm. And I'm working on another album, and I've secured another deal to go down to Nashville mm -hmm. to uh, record uh, like eight songs I've written. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm excited about it because you always feel like you could do better. And and I don't yeah. think I've done my best work yet, uh -huh. so writing-wise or performance-wise. So. I, I think that's what keeps us motivated, or keeps yes. me into it anyway. It's yes. like I say to myself, I can write a better yes. song than this, yes. and maybe I'm write it for yourself and don't write the song hoping that in mind that people will like this. Because mm -hmm. you can fall into that mm -hmm. trap too, and then you're selling both people short. You're mm -hmm. selling yourself short and the people because you're trying to write it for them mm -hmm. and not for yourself. So. Sure. Um, yeah, you have to find that middle middle yeah, ground. Yeah. You know, but again, you want to bring you. You know, yeah, is, you want to envision your, it working. But message. yeah, yeah. Nice. I want to hear a little bit about all night long. Oh okay, yeah, all <laughs> night long. Uh, yeah, it was that was. Uh, yeah, I was like I was working at a June joint, laying down a heavy groove. When I saw that body in the way that you made it move I said, oh, hey there, honey, can I play you your favorite song? I said, the way you rock me, daddy, you can play it for me all night long 
said, all night long, all night long, and then the horns. So, yeah, that song was just something I envisioned people dancing to. Uh, okay. And then the story is about a band being down south playing okay. in a club in a juke joint, making people get out on the dance floor and requesting songs. Mm -hmm. So it's from a band's perspective. It's, it's, okay. it's not a deep song. Okay. But well, it, sounds it, so it seems to be working when we play it because people yeah. seem to be, you know, bopping yeah. around and dancing yeah. and having a good time. And did you write it uh, yourself, or yeah, did you collaborate that, with someone? That one I wrote by myself. I sat okay. down and wrote it by myself. But it was more like from a perspective of, of a band and with girls dancing in front of them, uh, kind of seductively. Okay. And then you're kind of telling her, hey, um, we'll play this music all mm -hmm. night long, mm -hmm. which is sort of uh, an innuendo type thing. You know? okay. We won't go further <laughs> than that. Have you ever written a song with a sense of how you want to hear it because you know you're creating it and all of a sudden when you bring it to the public the way that the public receives it changes the whole entire playing like like you you feed yourself from the public and you change the style how you play it has yeah. that happened to you what is it's weird like different your... geographies respond okay. respond differently to different songs okay. so if i go play this song in rhode island or maine or whatever or, they'll go right out on the dance floor and go nuts. Okay. Just because I know that that rhythm, and if mm -hmm. the band is doing, the, we're doing our job right, it's mm -hmm. going to work. Okay. I'm not reinventing the wheel there. With, it's a Chuck Berry type proven mm -hmm. uh, beat that Stevie Ray Vaughan and the Thunderbirds used, and a lot of bands used, not just them. But I'm trying to just tell my own story mm -hmm. through ch what Chuck Berry might do. Mm -hmm. And then it seems that different geographies are more enthusiastic about seeing music. Sure. And sure. this bass player, Dave Natale, would tell me all the time, it's just as much work to write songs as it is to find the geographies that like those songs. Mm -hmm. so, Interesting. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, we don't I, think about that. Yeah, and I don't really write this song envisioning like it working so much or or anything. I just like wrote the lyrics like we were working in a juke joint, laying down a heavy groove. That's when I saw that body and the way she made it move. So he's playing and he's seeing the girl dancing around seductively. So I said to her, hey, can I play you your favorite song? So he's like flirting with a girl that came to see the band. That's not necessarily me. All mm -hmm. the, the, it, I write a lot of things about what other people what do. What you see yes. elsewhere. Yeah. yeah, I could yeah. be watching that happening from another band, and, okay. that, and then I try to write it from my perspective. You know, some people think I'm nuts, but I eavesdrop on conversations, okay. and, and I hear at Olympia mm -hmm. Diner, I used to go sit in the booth and listen to people talk, and then go home and try to write a song from <laughs> what their conversation was. And, you know, that's, that's my method. Yeah, yeah, Whatever well, inspires well, you. Yeah, that's, that's you know, true. That's I, uh, true. An Eye for an Eye, that, that was the first song. John Mayall recorded that song that I wrote because it, uh, it won a uh, Nashville uh, a contest. Mm -hmm. But that song was like about how a girl goes out with her friends at night mm -hmm. and gets lit up and comes home late and he gets mad. Mm -hmm. So what does he do the next night? He goes out with his friends. <laughs> so there's like this retaliation in, yeah. the, in the relationship. The story, the yeah, story. and it's like, I don't even know if it ever happened to me, probably, <laughs> but I know a lot of guys have told me, yeah, so I'm going out with my buddies because she went out with her friends. So that strike in my head, oh, okay. you know, struck in my head, you know, eye for an eye okay. to, to get even. Uh, talking about geographies, you played recently in Florida, didn't yes, you? Yes, yes. Yeah, do you find it uh, something um, to be different between you know public or audience in Connecticut than Florida is there? Well, there's there... definitely a different attitude yeah, and a different there's... latitude. The latitude is a little happier down there, so I think it's a little easier for musicians to. You think so? I think so because okay. if the audience is already happy, it's sort of like a <laughs> it's sort of like a relationship between a girl and a boy. If the woman is happy. And the, the, the guy doesn't need to make her happy. She's already happy. He's just, he's just with her to be happy. It's the same with music. If the people are already happy, the musician, he doesn't have to work. You still have to do your job, but you're going to have less resistance to get people up dancing and having okay. a good time. Okay. Okay, and I think weather also plays a, a big, big part role. Yeah, big part. 
you know, is, is, is totally different. You know, and, and it's that, summer, it's, yes, you know, you're yes. out and about. Yeah. Uh, it's seven and still the sun is out. Right, you know, right. It changes, a, it changes a lot of, uh, of your attitude, and the attitude is everything. I mean, we love to play. You and I, you're a musician. I'm, I would play whether it's 20 degrees out. Mm -hmm. They know in Russia those guys practice in barns that are like, there's no heat. Mm -hmm. So because they love to, to make music. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but going down there, I just noticed that people are just ready to smile and have a good time a little easier than nice. here. So Nothing you, you against Connecticutians. No. Yeah. <laughs> and you went with your band or you went by yourself? I went by myself twice, but um, I brought my, my wife came with me the second time, but we just sessed it out. We did mm -hmm. some shows for fun okay. with friends of ours down there okay. and just felt it out. Okay. And, uh, You're planning to move over there? Oh, no, I, I would You're go down there for a couple months okay. uh, uh, every in the wintertime, just, just bring my band down there and, and play solo duos. Mm. And with the band all throughout Florida would be mm -hmm. my uh, uh, a nice... Uh, a nice thing to pull off, yeah. Okay, can we hear another song from sure. your uh, album? Let's see. You have the, let's see, I have the album on me somewhere. <laughs> Here's the mic. All right, so we had, uh, I had. song was just mm -hmm. like a Stevie Ray Vaughan love song. I'm in love with your magic eyes with that kind of Stevie type yes. feel. So that one's on it. Uh, let's see, All Night Long, Eye for an Eye. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. Which was the ones that hit the chart? Well, that those hit the chart, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, an Eye for an Eye. Yep, An Eye for uh -huh. an Eye. Your magic eyes. Mm -hmm. um, a real heavy one was like... It's like, I was blinded by desire. So that riff mm -hmm. was like the whole band's going bum 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 singing I was blinded by design. Mm -hmm. All my songs are kind of like romance songs <laughs> or like romance fantasy songs, uh -huh. at least a lot of them. Okay. Or, or love songs like, you know, and then out of the, out the cold. We did um, Blinded by Desire. It's like a, a, a real heavy, you know. Okay. So that one got on the charts. Uh, what else? Uh, all Night Long, mm -hmm. Eye for an Eye, Out in the Cold. Out in the Cold. Uh, Unsung Hero. Yeah, Unsung Hero, mm -hmm. uh, it's a Rick Derringer, who's uh -huh. uh, a legend. Uh, I think it was I am a hero, unsung hero of the blues. I am a hero. So that one, mm -hmm. he and I switch uh, vocals on, and, okay. and we kind of tell each other a story. Okay. And we're both complaining about our lives <laughs> that we're both unsung heroes of okay. the blues. And he's a legend. I mean, okay. and, you know, and uh, he produced that track and uh, played guitar and mm -hmm. sang on it. And uh, that was a real, real big honor. So. Nice. And you, you said that you're, you already have in mind another album? Yes. That I, you're working on yep, already? Yeah, yep, because I feel that yeah. by the time I get it recorded and done and in my hand, that this will have run its course. Okay. So, so this one was recorded at Horizon. A lot uh, of music some group? of the songs were some of the songs were done at Horizon. It was all mastered at Horizon. Okay. Uh, with Vic, uh, and mm -hmm. some of the songs were recorded at Vic's. And that's in West Haven. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you mostly uh, do your projects in Connecticut, like they're all. Well, no. Um, some of the songs. these songs, because these are mm -hmm. kind of compilations of a mm -hmm. lot of pieces of work. Uh, some of them were recorded in Nashville, oh, okay. Boston, New York, okay. uh, Vicks in West Haven. 
So mm -hmm. this is like a, 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 a cherry picked selection ah, okay. of a lot of stuff I've done. However, once you put it all on one record, then mm -hmm. Vic makes them all sound sure. like they're done cohesively. Exactly. And then pick an order that kind of tells a story. Okay. And in that new album that you're thinking about, uh, does your sound change? Is there anything that you're bringing? And, and maybe I shouldn't be asking this. I, I think because, it does. Yeah, I but, mean, it, evo know. it evolves. Yes. I mean, yes. I, I don't, I'm, these new songs I have, I really okay. won't know if they're really good okay. until I finish them with the guys. I'm pretty sure they will. Well, thanks. <laughs> but I, I feel, you know, some days I listen to them because I'm demoing them in my house and I'm going, that's going to be unbelievable. Then I mm -hmm. listen to it the next day and go, <laughs> what are you thinking? Because I think that's just human nature. Uh, yes. And uh, so uh, you got you to gotta at least put it out there and yes. see what people Because I, as the creator, you will always feel like there's something missing. But it's because you're the creator. But when it goes out and people listen to it, they see how wonderful it is and they love it. And not only yeah. that, I think the, that artists, they mm -hmm. don't complete records. They abandon records. Okay. If it was up to me, I'd be working on these songs in the studio over and over and over mm -hmm. again a million times, but then it wouldn't be art because mm -hmm. it's, we're not going for perfection. Mm -hmm. We're going for emotion. Sure. So, how, how long did it take you to record the album? Well, uh, I mean, all those different songs were a lot of work, okay. a lot of time. I, I, I mean, I couldn't even give you, I couldn't even tell you. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what, it's probably a lot. <laughs> yeah. Probably yeah. a lot. And you have videos of some of them? Uh, yeah, there's some uh, kicking around of, of friends that came by in recording uh -huh. studios, but we didn't like try to make like videos of us recording because okay. it was different hours of the night and like, I, mm -hmm. you know, different studios and different times and different rhythm sections. So, I mean, I guess it's not a traditional made album where you mm -hmm. sit down. This is like cherry picked work okay. of a lot of songs. I have like nine albums out and mm -hmm. then these are like cherry picked from those and then remastered Okay. and, and then the team shows mm -hmm. them I did not get a say, mm -hmm. but but I was okay with that because I really don't know in my heart what's my best work, mm -hmm. and I'm not ashamed to admit that. So okay, I see you have a song with Christine Allman. Yes. Yeah. So how is it to how is it to work with her? Well, we we kind of played together over the years, but mm -hmm. but um, never became like like buds until mm -hmm. we did this, which is, mm -hmm. I recommend to anybody when you record with people, you become buds. Mm -hmm. But uh, this guy, Bob Francis, uh, he wrote the words to that song. Um, and it was about he and his wife going to the same bars to see the same bands, to dance to the same songs mm -hmm. with the same friends, with the same beers. <laughs> but he likes it. <laughs> So uh -huh. he likes the rut he's in. Okay. So that concept, and, it, and then he had some lyrics or whatever, and then I was just okay. like, uh, and then she sings a verse, and I sing a verse. It's like, working hard for you night and day. So each weekend we can go out and play. Out to party with our friends, and we hope the weekend never ends. <laughs> some say that we're in a rut. Same things like we're nuts. That's okay, I like the rug we're in. The rug we're in is where the fun begins. I like the rug we're in. I like the rug we're in. So, mm -hmm. uh, that song to me is so funny, but it's catchy uh -huh. and it's danceable. It uh -huh. and, and she brought a lot of energy to the track where I should have. Kind of. We're working hard for you night and day. So each weekend we can go out and play. Out the party with our friends. I think the demo I made was in C, but when we got to the studio, we did it in E. But So in my mind, when we do it, when Christine uh -huh. and I do it live together, I think I'm going to move it to C. <laughs> but that's just crazy me. <laughs> but you can tell the song is kind of catchy and Bob... Yes. Bob's like a aerospace guy yes. who wrote who wrote the story. Yes, yes. Well, we could be going on forever and forever. Uh, I love to hear you. Thank you. You know, so thank you so much. Thank you. Um, we're always looking forward to all your projects, all the things that you're doing. 
uh, we will have you back. You know thank how you. it is. So good uh, to see you. Glad you're <laughs> we want to keep on uh, following your journey. So thank you so much. Thank you so for uh, bless us with uh, a nice uh, tune okay. as we leave. Someone really loves you. Guess who? Guess who? Someone really cares. Guess who? So open your heart. Oh, then surely you will see that that's someone who really cares, who really cares is me. Woo. Thank you for watching for art's sake. Until next time, thank you.